Alright, hi, I'm Velvet. Um, this is my new model, and I'm gonna go over how to use some of the fun toggles. Um, so, a lot of the toggles in here you're just gonna be able to mess around with, so I'm not gonna go over every single one, just the stuff that you might not know what to do with. So, first thing is first, I'm gonna go over the vape, um, because this is super cool. So, it spawns on your right hand, and if you hold it up to your mouth, it'll play a vape like hitting noise um, until you pull it away, and then smoke will come out of your mouth. So I'm going to do that again, just so you can see it. I can see there's smoke coming out of my mouth. Then we have the boombox. Um, this is super cool because there is a power button on it. So, power button. Turns on music. Um, it's super easy to change your own song. Actually, I'll put it right on the side of the screen here, showing you where it is in Unity to change your own song. Which is super self-explanatory, you need the mp3, import it in, drag it into the audio source. So turn that off. If it'll turn off, I gotta make this quick because my trackers are, are dying. So, water bottle. Um, it has physics on it, so that's what you see here with like the ambient occlusion, you won't see that all of the time. It's just because this world, I actually turned up the ambient occlusion, but Right or left hand over the cap will take it on and off. So that's super cool. Uh, it has water inside. The knife. So I'm going to show you. Uh, obviously, it just toggles on, and you're like, cool, knife. But this is in a position. So there are three different positions. You can do the fist, thumbs up, and a peace sign. And then a fourth where you throw it. And it'll bounce around the room. It has a trail on it. And it will slow down. Um, so every time it bounces, it does get a little bit slower. But yeah, it bounces around, which is fun. So then you have the axe. It toggles from your hand to your back, and then you can toggle it off. I will go into the shared spring joint. Okay, so to use the shared spring joint, what you're going to do is go into the shareable spring joint menu. You're going to enable the spring joint. And then... So... Before you hit share, what you're going to do is put your hands out, and then the other person is going to lay their hands over yours, like this, with their palms facing upwards. And then what you're going to do is hit the share button, and you'll see two hands appear on their hands. When those go away, they will disappear. This person can now make a finger point and control the spring joint on my model. And then I can take it back if I wanted to. So now it's my spring joint. But we can also activate it at the same time, and it'll be between us, and we can play Tug of War. But if they let go, I can throw it at them, and they can play Catch. You have all the appearance toggles, whatever. Then you have this mask. So the mask, if you touch it, it'll go down. Touch it. It'll go up. But other people could do that too. So you can see how that would get annoying if you're like scratching your face and your mask is going up and down. Um, so there's a toggle for the mask contact. You'll no longer be able to touch it. Nobody else can touch it. You got your marker. Just like every other model of mine has. It's got the marker on it. With all of the local space constraints and everything. You have three pages of emotes. You have dances, poses, and mute actions. I will go into the locomotion here. So with my model Leia, if you go into half body with her, you'll see that there is two animations. There's one where if you're crouched, you'll see your legs like this. And then if you're, if you're prone, this is the animation. But there's also other options in the locomotion. And so if you go to stationary enable, your legs will go like this. But you'll notice that if you're in half body, your body doesn't turn when you look around. It's obviously not the case, like if I were to do this, you can see my whole body moves to my head. But with stationary enable, you can sit like this and not obstruct anybody else. Uh, there's also a stationary alternative, so you can lay down, and it will also lock it in place so you don't obviously look around. But then there's also a second animation set. So if you toggle the, the second animation set while you're sitting crouched or prone without stationary enable, you won't see a difference. 
But if you're sitting with stationary enable and you you hit the second animation set, you'll see that you can lay on your side. But also if you hit stationary alternative while the second animation set is playing, you'll lay on your other side. So this is really cool for half body users. Um, there are toggles in desktop. So this second animation set toggle does something else in desktop. That is my model Leia. And I really hope you enjoy her. She's super fun. She was super fun to make. I had a really good time. I learned a lot from making this model. I hope you enjoy it.